hundred. Oh, absolutely. Here in Ontario, they pop up and down more than, well, most men watching a stripper. That's it. There's more feds in Ontario than there are zits on the ref turn up space. And that's saying a lot. But right now, we got Ref Cassidy in there for this what should be just a fantastic match between uh, two young Lions. Prodigy with the most experience in this one. And uh, we'll see where this goes. And Prodigy's another guy that's trying to uh, make his mark in PWA. Uh, he's uh, he's been kind of in and out over the years, but uh, he's uh, he's coming back in pretty solid now. And here he is playing mind games, trying to dictate the pace of the match. Classic standard, uh, as they say in the vernacular, heel tactics. Absolutely, he has time to, to do whatever he wants. He's going to wait, see if Eric will make a mistake, and then capitalize on it. That's for sure. And he's got uh, what is it, a ten count before he has to get back in the ring. There he sees breaking the count, and already Easy E is uh, showing signs of. A frustration right there. He wants to get things going, but this is all a game plan on Prodigy's part. And uh, so much, when you're up against aerial uh, specialists like Easy E, so much of their of their game plan is in fact pacing. Uh, their their entire offense depends on it. So if you can throw them off that, you've definitely got an advantage. And you can see that uh, Prodigy's uh, basically disrespecting his young opponent right now. Collar elbow lockup. And oh, side headlock by Easy E. And takes that down to the mat. He's going to hold on to that there for a while. And this is Easy E now. He's just trying to show Prodigy that he too can control the pacing of the match. Absolutely. Prodigy there with a handful of hair. Referee didn't see it. Can't call it. Eric was trying to get him off, but right now he's got a firm grip on that headlock. Uh, and uh, Prodigy might be better off going for an eyeball there. Oh, looked like he was going to try and take him over backwards with a, a suplex, but Easy E managed to flail his legs, gain control of the leverage once again, take it back to the mat. That time Prodigy was going for an nostril hook, it looked like. Easy E shrugged it off. Once again, back up to their feet and rolls it. Oh, no, just spins him over. And whoa, Easy E right back to the headlock again. And uh, this is like watching uh, 1960s wrestling television, except it's in color. Absolutely, and that's the good part about the PWA, Pure Wrestling Association, gives you absolutely everything from the top to the bottom. Well, that's for sure. And, uh, oh, I thought he was going to go for a duck under off or a spring off the road, but Prodigy decides to bail. And, uh, you know, he got to bet his ears are ringing. Folks, you don't understand, unless you've been cranked in a headlock, just how debilitating that hold can be. It, uh, it uh, puts a lot of pressure on your eardrums, can mess with your balance. Can, uh, can cut off oxygen to your head, gives you a headache that just won't go away like an ice cream spike on a hot summer day. And uh, all you have to do is look at some of the guys been around for a while with the cauliflower ears to understand just how painful that hole can be. Well, absolutely. You know, Prodigy likes to have a loose grip on his head. Eric just has way too much strength in those hands to, to give any pleasure to Prodigy. And we'll let you take all the double entendres from that that you want to, folks. Now we got a hammer off. Reach around behind from Prodigy. Looks like he's hooked an ear there. Oh, nope, he's, he's, he's he cranking on the pressure. He's going to go underneath now. Takes him down with the leg and spins it into a uh, kind of a reverse lock there himself. He's got uh, Easy E a, a pinning predicament. Now Easy E's got his weight on, uh, Prodigy's weight on him. He's going to fight against that. And uh, he spins it around. You need some of the torque and pressure, but beautiful form from Prodigy right there. You see him leg extended for as much leverage as possible. Whip off into the ropes, shoulder tackle, easy E goes down. Prodigy off the ropes again, leap over. Gets caught with a beautiful hip toss. Now easy E, he's got him up in the ropes against the corner. And he goes, oh, no, no, not a corner punch. Oh, damn it, I hate this, Jesse. Well, everyone's getting 10 counts in here. And Technically, the ref should have been able to get to five twice by now, but apparently he's not going to squat. Well, it's kind of an ineffective move, pummeling uh, Prodigy with a forehead like that. He's got a, a definite pro magnum slope happening there. Oh, beautiful suplex takeover. Nice form from Easy E. He's being a little, uh, a little slow though on moving after his moves, and you see Prodigy. You're not going to pin him after something like that. Uh, Prodigy Reese Reynolds is, is too good for that. Backs him against the ropes. There's a whip. Nice leapfrog. Duck under. Nice standing drop kick right there. Easy E throws one of the best, best drop kicks in the game right now in Ontario. Slow cover, easy kick out by Prodigy. He looks like he's been wrapped a little bit. That drop kick rocked him pretty good right there in the breastbone, looks like. Easy E get a handful of hair to drag him up off the mat. Well, yeah, you get knocked around too much inside that brain of yours. Well, you know, you can't quite see straight, so. 
Off the ropes now. Leg drop across the throat. Is he gonna cover him? No. Nope. Drags him back up again. Here the fans get behind Eastside Lee right now. Neck breaker. Prodigy feeling the effects of that one. I think Prodigy got his bell rung in there at some point. And now a neck wrench. And he's just gonna try and twist his spine a little bit and mess with those vertebrae in the neck and pull his jaw out of alignment. Beautiful, beautiful positioning by Ref Cassidy right there. Right on top of the action. You can see Easy E's keeping it legal. Fingers off the hair. Just wrenching on that neck. Prodigy's got no, no, no choice but to try and duck under a turn. He does. And there's a nice punch to the side. Easy E responds with a punch of his own. And now we're starting to see the uh, clubbering go on. And Prodigy off the ropes now. Misses with a straight right. Cross off the ropes by uh, Easy E. And again, I don't think Prodigy's even had a pinfall attempt at this point. Not yet. Prodigy has you know, been out there trying to get it to Eric, and it's just not happening. Easy E has actually stepped one up, and he's actually controlling the Prodigy here. Yeah, I think maybe a tactical error. Prodigy trying to, uh, to break up Easy E's pacing and totally forgot about his own. And uh, oh, nice reverse on the rip there, nice pivot. Easy E stays on the ropes. Flips Prodigy over, he lands on the apron. Nice punch to the side of the face, but Easy E responds with another one. Prodigy trying to come through the ropes now. Oh, we got the pendulum effect. And there you go, he's just covering him. The ref's got to get in there and stop this. Prodigy bails. He took three good solid shots right to the cheekbone. Absolutely, three shots right to the face. Well, the referee could have been had at least another five count disqualifying Easy E, but now they're down here on the floor, and that's just concrete, people. No, that's uh, they're out there on the ground now, and Easy E is. Oh, he's using the fans as foreign objects. Well, technically, I guess if the fan is foreign Canada, he's not a foreign object, but still. Uh, and now, was he even busting with a chair? Oh, he's prodigy flat in that chair. And this is kind of strange to see this. Uh, there's no real bad blood between these two guys. There's, uh, there's nothing but a potential step up the run of the ladder here. Easy E may be feeling a little lot of them and the Prodigy figures, oh, off the post! Holy smokes, Prodigy reeling in the laps of the fans right there. Easy E is definitely showing a distinct killer instinct right here. Punches to the face, to the throat, into the chair. Now he's got him up in the bleacher, still punching him in the face. Jesse, uh, this is some intensity we're seeing from, uh, from young Easy E. Now he stuffed him in a garbage can. And uh, says, there, take a look at your future, Prodigy. And uh, kick to the face. Prodigy looks like he's trying to get up into the washroom to escape. This has just gone nuts. And the ref's outside. He's even trying to count these guys back in the ring. This is breaking right down. Into the post again. He's just letting it go. It's, it's all carnage out here. This is part of the history between these two. Eric was the one that beat Prodigy. Well, he didn't really beat him. He won the Battle Royal to become the new Southern Ontario champion. And he took that away from Prodigy here in the PWA. So there could be a little bit of animosity between the two, but really that's about it. They're gonna try and hopefully see who's the next one to go from Elite Habanero, my Elite Habanero, and the internet champion. Yeah, and, uh, and also, folks, don't forget that Prodigy's already got all kinds of problems with PWA with the Tories TID, so we're gonna start with, Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful diving cross right to the throat. Prodigy looks out of it, easy, easy, casually. Goes over on his knee, picks him up, doesn't even go over to cover. He wants to lay some more, another neck breaker coming up. And uh, I got, this match so far has been all easy, easy. He's dictated the pace and the flow right from the start. Despite Prodigy's better efforts, and another near fall Prodigy has to escape from it, and still no real offensive series from Prodigy. And now it looks like we're into a chin lock on the mat. Absolutely, like you said earlier, Prodigy was worried about taking the pace away from Easy, and you know, it's not that easy. He's now losing the battle. Well, he just took a kick right to the face. There's another one to the chin. Easy, he has got some brutal moves and suplex. Prodigy goes over. It's a testament to Prodigy's uh, intestinal fortitude. He's still conscious, but he's a hurt unit right now. And a lazy cover from Easy, exhibiting a little bit more of that 7-11 um, punk attitude that he started to exhibit lately. You know, a little bit of success goes to their heads, these kids, and then uh, that's what they turn into. Now he's mounting the ropes, wasting time, showboating. He's up there now, what's he gonna do? Tries for, uh, I don't know what he tried for there, a diving headbutt maybe, a splash. In any case, 
He smacked his jock first right onto the uh, canvas there. Prodigy rolled out of the way. And now the referee's counting them both down. Time now for Prodigy to move up and, and uh, start unleashing his offensive arsenal. That's right, as you saw there just a couple seconds ago, Prodigy pointing at his head, saying that he was smart enough to get out of the way, but is he smart enough to capitalize on the situation? Does he have enough left in the tank? He's taking a hell of a beating. And now he's uh, always hanging him up in the tree of wool, it looks like. That's it, whoa indeed. And oh, he's got his, his hand stuck up his rectum or something there, and he pulled it out just in time. And easy E comes to the mat. That didn't work, so probably he's just gonna stomp him right there. He didn't really care. And somewhere you just know Kevin Sullivan shaking his head over that abysmal three of one. And now he's working away at the kidneys on the back. Working in the corner, setting him up for a whip to the buckles. Oh my goodness! Easy E tossed like yesterday's news. Looks like he might have wrapped his spine around a post even. Prodigy suddenly showing a little bit more fire, a little bim, a little bigger. He's, uh, he's definitely controlling the pace right now. He's got him up. Nice back break. High two against the shoulder blade. First pinfall for Prodigy, and he's still able to kick out. I, mean, I don't know what he's going to have to do, but he's going to really have to beat down this young man. Well, we don't have to point out, folks, that Prodigy didn't hook the leg, and you know what that means. In any case, slow and methodical now, Prodigy, and uh, he's starting to lay the hurt on Easy E. And Easy E, I don't know, he went down hard on that whip to the buckles. He might have torqued the knee or something like that. Here comes another suplex attempt by, uh, oh, nice delayed vertical suplex, demonstrating the deceptive power that Prodigy, uh, that Prodigy has. A roll over and a cover. And look at that elbow right in the eye socket during the pin. You gotta love those little extra touches, eh, Jesse? Absolutely, it's, it's just another added pressure point, right? You can't, if you're thinking about your eyeball being pushed into the back of your brain, you're not thinking about kicking your shoulder off the mat. It's just one of those little distractions that you can add to hopefully winning. Yeah, it's a tough call for a referee too. It's, uh, it's, a, very, it's a very easy, easy uh, brutal move to, uh, to hide. Oh, there's a nice short forearm right to the spine. And again, targeting the spine and backbone of Easy E. And it looks like Prodigy has decided that the kidney area, lower back, is going to be the spot that he works Easy E over on. And now he's got him here. And, oh, beautiful. I thought he was going to go for a yearnish maybe there, but he, he just a European uppercut again to those shoulder blades. And once you take those out, you will eliminate so many possibilities of a man's physical capabilities. Beautiful jumping stomp. Now call five years for the Absolutely, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you break the spring in the man's back, he's not going anywhere. And again, another suplex targeting the shoulder blade, upper back area of Easy E. Roll over for the pin, and Easy E manages to kick out. And he's got to be a hurting unit. Don't forget, folks, when you start taking blows to your upper back like that, it affects not only the, your ability to move, but also your ability to breathe. And now, stretching the neck, and of course, Look at that, look at that fulcrum point. Look at that right there at the knee, right between the shoulder blades. This is, this is a textbook example of a concentrated attack on one body part. Demonstrated here aptly by Prodigy. Easy E firing uh, elbows into the midsection. Gets away, favors his back though. Oh, he's just hammered cheek first to the mat by Prodigy. What an amazing move. Absolutely, Prodigy thought, you know, Split second instant that he was going to lose this contest, wrapped Eric up, easy E, and dropped him right in his head. Yeah, face first, and he laid there not moving for a good three or four seconds, and uh, he was able to kick out of that pin right there, but he just had his face hammered to that mat. And uh, folks, I don't care who you are, that's gonna leave a mark. Now Prodigy still looks fresh. This guy's got stamina that, that just won't stop. Whip off the ropes now. Beautiful back elbow underneath the chin. Stretches easy to yell. Is he gonna go for a cover or is he gonna lay more damage on him yet? It's just kind of boot scraping him across the face right there. Tell him to get up. Fans yelling at Prodigy to finish him. Easy E, he's slow to rise now. Prodigy again targets the back. This time right where it joins the pelvis. With a bit of a butt splash there. Showing the disdain he has for his opponent, but that could purely be psychological too. I don't think Prodigy truly disrespects the ability of Easy E. I don't think Prodigy really dis disrespects anybody, absolutely, because he is a competitor in this ring. He knows what other competitors bring, so he just knows he's a little bit better than most of the people in the ring. That's right, and one of the reasons he is, you see right there, folks, you see how he's leaning over top. He's got Easy E bent right there with that, that modified sleeper on the mat, but he's also pressing him forward mid back, which Puts pressure on the diaphragm, makes it harder to, to breathe. 
There's so many ways that simple looking hold can debilitate a man, but easy able to roll out a couple elbows, and again, caught with a modified sleeper. And now he's got him up, and he's, uh, we'll see where it goes from here. As, as uh, Easy E manages to get sideways, fires Prodigy into the corner, runs in, misses. He's still on Stupid Street. Prodigy misses with a high swing and blow. Easy E smacks the German in, and now they're both laying on the mat. Well, Prodigy has taken so many shots to the head. Two hits on the pole, ten punches even. Like, he's still not quite vividly there, seeing a straight line. So when he was swinging for Eric's head, he just missed. He certainly did, and, uh, and easy. He didn't miss with that German, released German suplex. And Prodigy now knows what it feels like to uh, have his neck rearranged. Both of them struggling to rise right now. Both up. Swing and punch by Prodigy misses. Kind of a weak, clubbering blows by uh, Easy E right there. They are finding the mark. Now he's always oh, just powering him down into the cross face. Modified cross face right here. And this, this is an interesting spot for, for Prodigy Reese Reynolds to be in. And uh, you can see there's probably only a few times a day in a certain room in the house as Highland Ben's that far back. And uh, now he's inching his way over for the ropes. Sean Cassidy right there. And yes, it's time to break. Prodigy makes a ropes right there, and that is the first time that either one of these guys have actually attempted to reach the ropes as opposed to just counter the move. Absolutely, like it's, we've gone, it's almost been 18 minutes here that, since these guys have walked down to the ring, and you know, they're just giving it their all and just trying to win this contest, and Eric can't even lift him. Oh, the, the work on his back earlier has paid off for Prodigy, now he's picked him up. He's almost lost the, uh, the advantage, he's going for like a razor edge right here. Oh, and once more down on the shoulder blades and back in the neck. But it took everything he had, it looks like and once again they're both down on the mat. Prodigy has to get up and capitalize on this. If he wants to get the one, two, three, absolutely. Prodigy peak there, we'll call it. Easy E is, well he's down on his face. Yeah, Easy E's not moving at all and uh, he's taking us the, the brunt of the punishment in this match. Uh, he had the, the early going where he laid a pretty serious covering on uh, Prodigy's head, but there's the cover. Oh, he kicked out. A near fall, folks, just barely made it. I think that, uh, yeah, Prodigy's taking more blows to the head, but the overall punishment to uh, Easy E's back, I think, is a telling factor at this point. As you say, 18, 19 minutes into this, was a 20 minute time limit, and um, these guys are just taking it to each other. Prodigy off the ropes, gets a kick in the plexus by Easy E. Beautiful cradle suplex right there. There's the cover. Oh, he kicked out just in time. Easy has won so many contests with that easy plex. I just don't believe it. And Prodigy was able to kick out of it. Well, that's because he didn't apply the easy plex perfectly. In any case, he's dragging him up by the ears right now. And of course, Lord knows Prodigy's got a couple of those. Picks him up in a body slam. Drops him down by the ropes. It looks like he's going to try something off the top. This might be kind of cool. Oh, simple springboard into an elbow. And, but you can see uh, Easy E clutching at his back on that very simple landing. He's a hurting unit right now. Prodigy's too close to the ropes right here. Well, absolutely. And there, yeah, as you see, he grabs the bottom rope. And Eric should have, should have, was able to pull him back a little more. But you see, his back is killing him. Yeah, Easy E's a hurting unit. Prodigy's smart. You know, he, he used every last single second he had before he grabbed the ropes. There's even a couple of seconds of help Eric go a long ways in a match like this. Now he's blocking the German, blocks the German again. Go behind himself, no, nope. pushes it uh, easy into the buckles. And oh my goodness, he just took his head off with a super kick. What an amazing kick. And uh, Prodigy's got to get up and, and get cover him because easy he is out. He's out. He's, he's colder than PD Flex's career. I am now managing it, but let's not get into that. It's oh. oh. I can't believe he kicked out this kid's guts and, and determination. It, it would be a heartbreak to lose this late in this match and a triumph to win. There it is again, a cover, and again Easy E kicks out. Prodigy realizes the time's running out here. Uh, that guy announcing what it was. I believe there's only like a minute left in the match at this point. And uh, what's he going to try now? Easy E pretty much on Stupid Street. Docks under though. Oh, and uh, what kind of move was that? It was, I, I have no idea, but it, it was effective, whatever it was. It was face right into the mat. He flipped over him and broke Prodigy's own face, face first into the mat. Yeah. That he did, it was kind of like a reverse blockbuster almost. Uh, modified Bulldog, of sorts. Now, easy, he going up top. And uh, 
Prodigy seems stretched out. There's Easy E, misses the flying headbutt from the top. Prodigy, though, he's on strange street, man. And of course, you know, not only are these guys tired, not only are these guys just heads reeling, the lactic acid buildup at this point has got to have them cramping so early. And now, torturing the back, torturing the neck. That's it. That's it, the bell rings, the match is over. Time limit draw. What an amazing contest. Has been ruled a draw. A draw, that's, that's just like kissing your sister. Like, that's ridiculous. Maybe, well, you know what? I'd give them another 10, 15, 20 minutes. But if it's already taken 20 minutes and neither of these two can beat each other, maybe we just have to find some other kind of stipulation for it. Yeah, maybe indeed. Um, what an incredible, uh, incredible match. Uh, they matched up well, very evenly paced throughout. Again, two different uh, divergent styles. Easy E targeting mostly the head, Prodigy targeting mostly the, uh, the upper back. And if he'd applied that, uh, that modified uh, uh, sharpshooter there, he might he, earlier, he might have actually snagged out a win. I'm not sure Easy E would have been able to handle it. But now these two uh, young lions just kind of eyeing each other up in the ring. And they finished even though the match is, or what's going on next? Well, as you can hear, the fans, they want five more minutes, ten more minutes, but it's just not going to happen. Prodigy extends a handshake. Easy, easy, taking it. Good show of respect from these guys, folks. Oh, Prodigy tries a super kick. Doesn't get it. Easy, easy, plants one right under the eyeball. And Prodigy's out. 